Hi guys, it's Jeff at Slavens Racing. Just wanted to show you what we got going on here today. We're at a winter testing ground here in Colorado. It's uh, 6,000 feet elevation, not real high. In the summertime, I typically test between 7 and 12,000 feet. But this is all we have for the winter. You can't get in the mountains too much snow. Uh, so just show you what we got going on here. We've got a bone stock 250 gas gas, uh, EC250. So the Enduro off-road model. And it's, it's stock except for it's got an FMF 2.1 on it. The lighting's really bad right now. It's late in the day, the lighting sucks for, for doing this kind of stuff, but anyhow. Uh, so the 250s, right now we've, we tested it with the stock ECU, then we switched to a GET SX1 ECU. And GET doesn't have any 250 maps yet, any base maps, so we've developed our own. Uh, we've been working on that for a couple of weeks now, and we're doing the testing on it today. And this thing, it's its very impressive how it runs. I would say this bone stock uh, 250 with the GET is considerably stronger than a bone stock TPI. This is a TBI, so this is a 24. So I would compare it to running better than a bone stock as far as horsepower better than a bone stock two, uh, 300 TPI models. So it's, uh, you know, like the 19 through 23 models. This thing is very impressive. It, uh, this uh, new TBI motor uh, with the correct fueling that we've, we've done here with the GET ECU, it really has excellent grunt. I'm really impressed with the grunt on this thing. I'm, you know, I'm a good sized guy and this thing is pulling me up the hills just as well as my 300 does without revving the guts out of it or anything, just lugging it up the hills. It runs amazing. You can see we've got our tuner right here. Oh, that's the map switch, excuse me. And uh, so we've got a couple of different maps available for sea level. We've also got a, uh, we can also set you up with like a sea level map and a high elevation map. If you're, like if you're a Colorado guy, you want the high elevation map, but then you go to Moab in winter or cooler months and you want a lower elevation map, we've got that set up. Uh, we've also been testing over here. We've got a uh, 300 EC gas gas, and this one uh, has got a head on it and a pipe. You can see right in there, we've got a lambda sensor on the exhaust pipe. And then up here, we've got uh, the gauge for that lambda sensor. So we can see, you know, the fuel ratio as we're riding. And then in the center there, Right there, that's the ERM. And uh, so this bike, Tracy, what's it have? Different head, pipe. Does it have a different pipe or just silencer? Okay, and that's about it? Yep. Okay, so this bike's got the uh, different silencer. It's got the stock pipe on it. It's got a TSP medium, medium head on it. And by the way, you know, we're we're uh, big on TSP. We've got tons of that stuff in stock, heads, ERMs, whatever you want. Uh, what else do I want to tell you about this bike? Other than, you know, it just runs excellent. This thing is strong. It's really strong, and we've built some programming for it to, to make it mellower. I shouldn't say mellower, more linear, so easier to ride. In stock form, the EC and the XC motors are extremely strong. I think they're too much for most technical stuff. Oh, just wear you out. I mean, they're very rideable through that stuff, but they're it's a lot more fun with them, a little more linear. Okay, then over here we've got my my 300 XCW 24, and right at the moment we've got the ERM hooked up. I'll show you up here on the handlebars. This is kind of how we roll when we're testing. We try to knock out as much stuff as possible. All right, so I've got the ERM right here. Let's see, it just woke up there. Over here, so this map switch uh, we've discovered today does not work with this bike, with, a, with the ignition system. This, so we've got this other map switch just uh, zip tied on here for right now. So this goes with this, or work. those two work together. And then I've also got a GET ECU with me that we haven't tested yet today, and that, that's the map switch for it. So that's kind of how we roll when we're out here testing. We load the bikes up with as much stuff as we can. And, you know, we've got wires running everywhere and 
course, we would never go out for a long trail ride like this. This is just for testing purposes. And I got to say, this thing walks. It's just amazing. Uh, the, the motor, this, this XCW motor with the higher compression head on it, and uh, the ERM, it's got a 2.1 muffler on it, which those actually soften up the power just a little bit. And I've got an FMF uh, gnarly pipe on it. So I've got the gnarly, the 2.1, higher compression head. Uh, actually, it's the TSP high head on there. Tracy has the medium that it has, because he loves it down in Missouri. And by the way, Tracy does, uh, he runs our our uh, MidUSA office for for tuning and testing and mapping and all that kind of stuff. So uh, if you order one of those, one of our ER, um, ECUs, quite often it comes from him. We also send them out of our Colorado office as well. But Tracy's back there at lower elevation and does tons of testing for us and tons of map uh, development. So this bike with this combination of 2.1 muffler, gnarly pipe, the head, and the ERM. We've been working on some, uh, just kind of refining those maps a little bit up for up here in Colorado. So we've got excellent maps for these, for the low elevation or Colorado, Colorado elevation, and things in between like Moab. But this bike is just so, has such smooth power delivery, but yet it's really strong. It's not strong uh, and rip out of your arms type of strong like the XC. It's just really extremely rideable. Uh, sorry for all the shadows here, guys. But uh, anyhow, I just wanted to give you a heads up on, on how we roll on testing and development. And we're constantly working on it. I was just down here a few days ago doing the same thing. And Tracy drove out here from Missouri. He's going to be here for a few days. We're going to really uh, refine and double check everything that we've we've got going on here. So. All right, guys, if you would like us on Instagram and Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. Stop by the store once in a while. If you do, give Alec a kick in the pants. And get out for some throttle therapy. That's all for now.